Team Linux Tech Profile Julio Nakazono How's it going? It's the Big Bird here with Julio Nakasono. And what did you do this weekend? I got uh, top 16 at the Minneapolis YCS. Sheesh, that boy crazy. <laughs> I guess it's over now for a couple weeks. Uh, you feel like spilling some of the goo or what? Yeah, I'll show you what I... That's a fancy match you got there. Is it real? Of course, you already know. Yeah, it's not a knockoff. <laughs> All right, well, without further ado, we're gonna get to the deck profile. So I played a, uh, so I played a uh, Adventure Sprite. So I played a uh, three blue, three jet, one red, one red, one carrot, one carrot, and one Pixies. The one ups. Yep, Pixies is really good, especially um, this format with Fenriers. I think it happened to me like against three different Sprite players that I played where they. So I'm inferior, they went battle phase. I had to target blue to search this, and then I still had Toad and Griffin, so I was fine if they try to activate the, the Vanish effect. And you can activate that from hand as well, right? Yeah. See, that's what catches players off guard a lot. They, you, they forget you search it, <laughs> and then you hit it off the hand. Yep. And then um, just double swap frog. Double swap frog. Uh, hitting, Why two? Uh, hitting Ronin crippled the deck, but... Uh, I didn't want to play three because, I mean, you only need the two to make the the toad, the toad and like, yeah. now it's a little harder because if you open up one of these and um, there's not, you don't open up like another monster to link off into elf, you can't really afford to get like summon one swap from back and then run and put bring the other one back. So now you would just be stuck with one toad. So seeing one, dump the other, and then you have the extender, you go for it. Okay, see <laughs> Then I played uh, the Nimble Package, three Beaver, and one Angler. One Angler. I was going back and forth between either two Beaver and one Angler or two and two. But then I just stuck with the three and one just because while testing, I would open up the Angler and then one Beaver. And I didn't like just using Beaver's effect. Uh, sorry, Angler's effect for the, um, for the one Beaver. So I was like, I'll just play three. And yeah. Came in clutch, I would normal summon one of them, and if, when I opened up um, Fateful, Swap, or this, I was able to, um, to do the other two, and then just more bodies on the board. Are those swaps salty? Nope. Mm, that's, <laughs> why. that's why we only made it to top 16. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, the last monster I played, uh, level 2, was uh, Capsule. Capsule in the main. Capsule in the Gross. main. We didn't play... Uh, we didn't play Ipra. I saw some lists playing Ipra, but I was iffy on uh, normal summon Ipra effect to draw, and then you draw into right, you can't use right. So that's how I was like, if I have a, uh, there was combos where you open up swap and um, an enchantress, or a way for, for it to like, where you're gigantic and just summon this, and then that's just a plus one. And that might just be enough to get to the game at some point. Yep. And then we played for spells, we did a, uh, Three starter, one smashers. Standard, uh, standard. Three prosperities. Well, Same was that Starlight? Yep, yeah, those the fancy ones. Okay, that's why. That's why we made it to top sixteen. Okay, there you we, go. Yeah, we understand there you now. Go. Then um, uh, one foolish burial. Foolish. Alternate art though. Mm. Zombie time. It's Halloween next week. Uh yeah, this dumping enchantress, or if you already had a way to write, just dumping uh. The angler to summon to be where you already had your um your uh what do you, brave brave combo and then you could go into your sprites yeah it's it's double utility in your deck right yep it's really nice really nice and then for the adventure i played uh three enchantress one griffin rider we only played two right because we didn't want to clog on the engine because it did happen a lot uh draco back faithful adventure I saw this card at least once a match, man. Not get it off my hand. Yeah, Fateful Adventure, <laughs> it's a one of, but I hear that it's like glue, man. No, not even fate this, man. The Draco oh, back is glue. Back, bro. I would I would I wouldn't mind seeing this, but this seeing this like every game. <laughs> rip, man. still made it though. Yeah. Did your enchanters get ash though? 
That is a real question. Uh, no, but the player that beat me round seven asked my faithful to search this, and then he he uh he fenrired. I tried to call by the fender. I'm uh, sorry. I tried to tow the fender, and then he called by my toad. So, Kim oh, getting gross. this. Yeah, he got me. That was gross. <clears throat> and then for uh, going second cards or uh, in hand traps, I did uh, one cosmic in the main. One cosmic, uh, one cosmic in, the in the main. It won me round. Spilling the goo right now. Won me round eight of uh, day one. I was Sheesh. playing against a sword sword player. He mystic mind me. And I had already gone through uh through my smasher, so I was under Mystic Mind rivalry with uh with just the token on the field with Draco back. So I had had to keep bouncing back the Mystic Mind so I could keep doing damage. But then he just he was just stalling me for deck out because he was up in cards and I was mm -hmm. and I had to dig for this. It was like my I had seven cards left and this was like my Sheesh. seven six card. So yeah, this is why I beat the sword show player. He try to deck you out. See, Damn. guys, mine can only get you so far. Yeah. The elite players put one in the main. <laughs> the weird players put one in the main. Then uh, one called by. Of course. The God card. A lot of people, in theory, do not like playing this. But I'm a firm believer. you got to play it. No, I love called by. It's another It's another crow for uh, for tier. Yep. You, can, you can use it on... Either turn if it, if you're going second and they try to solic send that tier monster this this can stop that monster even if there's they have a halfness in grave you shut it you shut the halfness down for two turns which is pretty good a two turn shut off for halfness that's <clears throat> the goo guys you hear that two turns without a halfness <laughs> then um the best hand trap that I I think for uh, the event uh, drill and lockbird sheesh. People don't believe in this card, man. They're lost. When uh, I activated this card against here twice, and like game two, game three, they were trying to play around it, which was better for me because some like I saw some tier that some of the tier players that I played they were playing talents. So when they would go like draw face, uh, activate uh, branded and high spirits, my shifter was better now because they couldn't rip cards out of my hand. I think I shifted two tier players and then I drooled. Um, I drilled them uh, three times, and then like it, like not being able to search the Solik, not being able, not being able to search off um, Kid Kalos, or not being able to search uh, Halfness with if you mill the trap. It's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, if you can stop your players after one commit, it's pretty good, man. And then the they just search that planet, and then what? Yep. I mean, they can still land on like a like a pretty good board but it, like the fact that they don't get more cards in their hand is is kind of nice yeah their follow-up was bad yep and then uh the new dd crow sheesh i played a uh, three three magna and then one druid swarm uh i i just went with like what people said was going to be the standard ratio but i did not like it i think i should have done two and two or even two one one just to have um variety yeah. yeah because a lot of my matches, I would open up two of the same name, and it kind of sucked because you could only use one. Yeah, you can only do one of the yep. other options. So even playing the the bad one, the Serenair, it would just help you see like a different name. So if you did open up two of them, like, uh, you could actually use both effects. So yeah, it's probably something that I'll change later on. And then I play sauce right here. Double Ash, Secret Ash, First Dead, Spanish, Spanish, very even stronger. Yep. Can't get called by. Can't get called by. And then just uh, triple imperm. Multi. Of course. Yeah, just smack a thousand dollars in. So uh, yeah, my uh, main deck count was forty six. I wasn't sure what I like, what I wanted uh, the deck count to be. I wanted to play forty three, which was that I was playing before a uh, darkwing blast, but um, mm -hmm. it worked out perfectly. So no complaints there. Then for the side deck. Uh, back row hate double cosmic because we hate runics. We did so. We pre I prepared, I prepared for runics, and then my yeah, here in the TCG runics, uh, it is favorable in some areas, but most players uh despise back row decks, so we we don't like in the side, <laughs> yeah. And then my MVP because I, I was only able to get one 
one evenly what? matched. The one evenly the went one crazy. Evenly matched went crazy. Girl. I saw it when I needed it, so Great. We're I'm gonna happy. Get more of those. Uh, one heart piece. Uh, feather duster again. I don't like back row decks. I don't like dealing with them. That's the Game Boy version. Yep. Let's go. Then uh, we played. We're going first. Uh, three judgment. Red reboots banned. I don't know what you did, Konami. Yeah, this card's good. Konami, why you take red reboot away? <laughs> uh, two D barrier. Um, again, this hits. Um, this hits tier. And any other variants? Yep. Okay, I ended up tier branded. Uh, Sword Soul it just shuts. The, it just should stop their play for one turn. We call like C's on a sprite. Whatever. Mm, yep. And you you can call like C's even if you have towed up because then you still have Griffin Red. So they can't they can't try to bait you out with like uh with the Zeus play. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's pretty good. Again, just say snow to tear. You have to. I mean, with that deck running around so rampant, mm -hmm. you've seen it won the YCS, so you have to play. And then, uh, one a pointer, because I was super scared of uh, Lava Golem and Sphere Mode. My round two, I got uh, Lava Golem twice, but uh, luckily my board was good enough to um, be able to still play through it. And then I, I try. I wanted to try out the, the new trap card just to see how, uh, how I went. But every time I went Jet Effect, I was getting Smashers every single time. <laughs> so yeah, I, this is. I think this is coming out of the deck. Smashers is just so much nicer. And then I hate playing times cards, but for this event, I was so I had to play the Red Resonator. So I had and to. It is what it card. is. Until Konami changes the rules, yeah. this is what we're gonna have to do. The good thing is though. I only used it twice because I did not like going into time. I like I like to end my matches quick, so only like on the grinding match, like two matches I had to use this. It was my round ten and I think round five when I had to use the red resonator. But besides that, every other round like we finished pretty good because this card time cards suck. I don't like winning like that. It doesn't feel good. And then that's it for the side deck. Like definitely some changes here because. Uh, I mean, Lava Golem doesn't seem to be a problem as much. Definitely need more evenlies. And then uh, for the... Let's see here. For the extra deck, we played Double Elf. Half tier card, half sprite card. Sheesh. <laughs> Yeah, that card's degenerate. Yeah, I got I peed into this, and then they sent um, they sent the uh, Merly, and then I lost, and then I played a uh, two gigantic, Toad, big Toad, Soul Sweeper to get big of uh, get rid of big monsters and push for game. That's getting a, a rarity grow upgrade here in the, Let's the go. next set. So, uh, sixty five. Just uh, if you can't get to Toad. 65. You can use uh, your blue and your jet, or like uh, revive back to capsule, and then you get a draw and a negate. So yeah, most of, like when I couldn't get to Toad, I was sending on this Griffin, and uh, maybe Smashers. I think is what it, I would try to go for. So yeah, not That's a bad card. Yeah, and then uh, Sky Calorie for my uh, Seuss package. Standard, and then we played Phoenix. One of the best links ever. Yep, dark. Sheesh, prismatic on there. Hell yeah. Uh, we played Mascarena to go into the Avermax. That this was this was another way to play around the uh, big monsters. Um, Tier actually struggles a lot to get rid of it. Get yeah. rid of this card because it can't be targeted. If they were playing Axis Code, um, that's fine. We Mascarena it. It can't be destroyed by card effects. And if they somehow send it, you get to shuffle a card. That's just gross. <laughs> yep. So really good card. I was playing Underworld Goddess before this, but the fact that it takes four materials was kind of hard to like even use one other. Like I had to get rid of so much of my field, and then just to get one card off their field. So I like Daver Max better. Daver Max. And then my Mew oh, token. The Mew token. Uh, Shanks and Luffy. Luffy. Hell yeah. Alright, any shout out? Of course, we have a lot of shout outs. First a off, lot of uh, shout -outs. let's go. That's nice. <laughs> first off, shout out to the team, Team Moonex. Team Moonex, let's go, baby. You no, know, they supported me all the way. My uh, teammates there, they were 
you know, motivating me, telling me I had it. So it felt good, especially being my first YCS. You know, yeah. a little, a little His nerve first YCS. <laughs> yeah. Bro. Shout outs to Kavan. He uh, he and I stayed up till 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. Uh, going into Friday night and the Saturday of um, the YCS, just play testing. Like he helped me out a lot. Shout outs to Jacob uh, Corny for letting me part the capsule because I lost mine. <laughs> I was test I was testing with it and. The day of, we were driving to the to the center and like I didn't have it. I didn't know where it was, so I asked, I asked him if he let me borrow it. And shout out to my girl Christina. She uh, brought us food during the event. She woke me up in the morning like, hey, get up, make sure you're up, get there early. Gee. Uh, shout shout out to uh, to a street man. That guy. Shout out to Ash. That's <laughs> that street. That guy. Um, I was watching like all my matches. You say you wanted me to lose one, but I, I already know it's all love. You know, just more trying to motivate uh, me. You know, shout out to the team. Shout out to the team. Shout out TGG. Shout out Terrence. Always loving us a little bit of love. Oh yeah, hold up. Let me see if I have. Oh yeah, I bring it. I did. I was using uh, his little. Uh, oh, he was using the field the set. Field set. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> so we're signing out. Thank you for tuning in with Julio Nakazono, top sixteen at uh, the YCS Minneapolis. Nice map. <laughs> it's a nice map, my boy. Go crazy.